Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. I'm the guy on YouTube who reviews VPNs and VPNs are used lots of the time for torrenting and anonymizing your IP while torrenting. But you might be someone new to torrenting. You might be saying, Tom, what the hell is Qubit Torrent? What the hell is a torrent swarm? You might not know all these things. So in this video, my goal is to make the most beginner friendly torrent guide possible. Are you guys ever worried about getting doxxed? I know I am. That's why I use a service called Incogni. Now I've reviewed almost all the major data broker removal tools and I found that this one is the best, it's the cheapest, and it also has a really good family plan as well. If you use my link in the description down below, you should be able to get 50% off Incogni. I have not been sponsored by Incogni for some time, but they are one of my top affiliates and they're one of my favorite products here on the channel because they prevent it so you don't get doxxed it removes your information from websites so if someone does find your IRL name they won't be able to connect it to your address phone number and even your family members additionally this can also give you less robocalls since companies aren't able to find your internet just like on the um, they're not able to just find it like it's some public message board so if you guys want to help support the channel and get one of my favorite products click the link in the description down below I'm gonna be putting my VPNs that I use in the description down below if you click on those links you'll get four extra free months with those VPN providers. Those ones are the fastest and easiest to use. So it's a good match for this video. And I may be using those in this video um, for those purposes. So guys, first up, let's go ahead and talk about um, what is torrenting exactly? Uh, well, basically torrenting is the way, you know, the easiest way to describe it would be downloading an application. Um, this is called a torrent application. Um, the one I'm going to use in this video is called Qubit Torrent. It's completely free to use. It's open source. It's trusted. There's no ads and so forth. So basically what this application does, it just installs on your computer and basically it lets you um, kind of like put beginner files into it. That's a good way to understand it. Um, it's like a file that kind of connects to other people on other computers. And if there's enough other people sharing that file, your computer will start downloading that file actually from them. So that's pretty cool, right? So if other people have the file on their computer, it's called seeding. And if you download it from their computer through this kind of application, it's called um, leaching. So seeding and leaching or uploading and kind of downloading. Now, if you download a torrent, um, that beginner file that I was discussing, it's actually called a magnet link. So when you put this link into your application, it basically starts the process overall. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So guys, I'm gonna be using this download right here. It's basically a magnet link that is freely available and open source, it's Linux Ubuntu. So basically what happens is, let's say I have a link. Um, so right here you could right click and copy the link and usually this is how it's done so i'm copying the link and then all you do is just post um, this little button here and see it has the link right there so now i click download so it's gonna ask me where i want to put it i could just put it wherever you want your downloads to go and it's pretty much going to start downloading um, and then once it starts downloading, it's gonna have information down here. And like you can see the speeds and so forth. If it doesn't have any speeds or anything like that, that means something is going wrong. So you definitely wanna check that out first thing. Um, but basically this is downloading this Ubuntu file from this website, but also it's kind of like um, that the magnet link is what starts that process or the beginner file, like I said, and then other people who downloaded this are kind of sharing it around as well. They just kind of distribute the file itself um, to kind of get it. Um, so it's kind of like peer to peer and that's exactly what torrenting is basically. You're, it's a peer to peer network. You're downloading from other people who are sharing it. And this has existed for a long time, probably like 20 years or more. So this is not something that's new, um, but it's something that's stayed around for sure. So guys, you kind of understand the basics now. You understand what a magnet link is. You understand how to paste it in. You understand the application you use, Qubit Torrent. Um, so these are kind of like the basics. So what's next? Well, before we discuss how to get magnet links and files and stuff like that, you are going to need to anonymize your IP address. Now, if you didn't know, when you are part of this P2P network or peer-to-peer -peer network, it's called a torrent swarm. So you're downloading from other people who are sharing 
it. The way this works is that your IP is actually just broadcasted to this swarm. And you can usually see that um, somewhere around here. I think it's right here. So depending on if other people are um, sharing the file, you'll actually see their IP address, country, region, port, and stuff like that right here. Um, so if you're downloading something that you don't want people to know you're downloading, you're gonna wanna un anonymize your IP address. Now, if you don't do this and you're downloading something, sometimes you might get a letter from your um, ISP in the mail saying, hey, we, we got a notice from someone. If you don't stop downloading stuff, we're gonna cut off your internet and kind of cancel your subscription to your, you know, you're not gonna have internet anymore. In worst case scenarios, you might get some kind of legal threats or something like that. Although most of the time, those are just kind of like trying to get money out of you and they won't go anywhere. But I'm not a lawyer, so I can't really say that for sure, certain. That's just what I've noticed. So you might be wondering, well, Tom, how do I anonymize my IP address so that doesn't happen? Well, you're gonna need something called a VPN. Now, VPNs also have other kind of little tricks and tips in them. Um, so guys, if you want to get um, the one I use right now, um, I'm gonna be recommending Nord. I'll be putting a link in the description down below. With Nord VPN, you get the most servers, the best speeds, and so on. But one real cool thing I like about Nord VPN is that it gives you VPN access, and you might not know what a VPN is. Well, basically what a VPN is, it's just gonna anonymize your IP. It's an application you install, connects to a remote server, and from there, it anonymizes your IP. But there are also other little tricks, like I said. Um, there's something called a SOX5 proxy. Now, a SOX5 proxy pretty much does this, the same thing as uh, a VPN. Pretty much you just buy access to that VPN um, with the link and you get the discount, like I said. And then once you get access to a service, you can actually use a proxy. Now, what is a proxy? Well, as you can see here, Nord even has a guide um, that you can find. And pretty much you just copy the address here that's closest to your location and you just put it into the settings here with your username and login. So I'll show you how I did it on mine. So you go to tools, option, you pick SOX5, you click on these things, just click on some of these things, and then you do the copy and paste address, port 1080. This will be your username and password provided by NordVPN in their account panel for um, specifically uh, the proxy connection. And they'll, you'll be able to find that in the account panel. You just go set up manually down here, verify your email, copy the login information and put it in. And once you do all this, you could just click save. And then anytime you torrent um, with that, um, it's gonna anonymize your IP. You don't even have to connect to any application or anything like this. Not every VPN does provide this feature, but it's my go-to one for the easiest way to get started. Now, this is going to anonymize your IP address. Your ISP is still gonna know you're torrenting, um, but you're not gonna be able to kind of be identified in the torrent swarm to have letters be sent to you and stuff like that. So it's the kind of quickest, easiest way to do it. Additionally, if you do want, you can set up a VPN that way. And I've made plenty of channels, uh, plenty of videos on my channel, but it's very simple. You just download the VPN, log in, connect to a server that's close by your location. And as long as VPN is on, your IP address will be anonymized in this torrent swarm. You can even do specific things within the VPN application, like activating a kill switch, which means that it won't torrent or you're not gonna leak or have things um, happen with the VPN on. It's gonna be very secure. So you might wanna check that out too. But the SOX5 proxy method is very good. Let me just show you very quickly what I mean by the VPN and how you might um, get it to work just, just to make this video very comprehensive in case you don't like that SOX5 proxy method, maybe it doesn't feel secure enough to you. So let's go ahead and show you what it looks like with something like NordVPN. So we're gonna just connect to the closest server right now just to anonymize our address so I'm not doxing my own IP address. And as you can see, we're connected. So pretty much all you do is just click connect and there you go, that's as good as that. And our IP address is anonymized. Now, if you want to, you could go in the kill switch settings like I said, and here we have here. So if NordVPN is connected and somehow something happens, it's actually gonna disable your internet so you can fix it. So that's very secure. Also, you can even add an application kill switch. So if NordVPN VPN does disconnect, it will actually close this and you will not leak anything. So it's as simple as that to use the VPN. It kind of is up to you on which method you want to do. Now we got the basics set up. We kind of have configured and help you understand what the Torrent app is, Qubit Torrent. We help you understand what a magnet link is, how to paste in, get things started. Um, another thing you might be wondering, well, Tom, how do I know my IP address is actually anonymized? Well. Fortunately, there are cool tools like this one. IPLeak.net has a tool 
that lets you actually download a little file. It's like a magnet link basically. And you could pretty much install it kind of into your torrent application like a torrent. And that will pretty much see if your IP address is anonymized. So let me show you how that works right now. So basically you go to ipleak.net. Um, we're gonna refresh it here. So as you can see right here, my stuff is anonymized with NordVPN because I'm connected to the VPN. Um, but what you wanna do is click here. So this will actually help you download that thing. And as you can see here, right here, if you go here and then click on trackers, it says it's working right here. And you can see right here, add this magnet link to your torrent client, wait for the results below. No data just now from the above magnet URL. So we're gonna wanna put that into the application. Maybe this one's kinda old or something like that. Let's just remove that to show you guys. We'll delete the files. So right now, so we're gonna add this magnet link, do this, and now we're gonna just click okay. And now let's see if it works. So my VPN kinda might be messing it up, but I think it will work. As you can see now, um, this website is verifying that our IP address is anonymized. So cool little tip right there just to help you guys have more peace of mind. So guys, finally, how do you download torrents? How do you find torrents? Well, unfortunately, I can't really list out some of the top websites, but this is something you could easily do in Google. Just look up something like top websites to find torrents and stuff like that. Do some research on Reddit, and I'm sure you'll be able to find some examples of websites that you can use. Just be careful when downloading files to make sure they're not viruses. Make sure to have an antivirus installed on your computer. Something in Windows Defender is okay for free. Um, Malwarebytes free is also good, but if you're looking for paid options, there's also some other options out there um, that you could check out. Um, but also guys, you know, movies and stuff like that don't have as many viruses. Just try not to install anything on your computer. That's really like a .exe file. That's really how you get things fucked up on your computer. So be careful with that. Let me know if this was helpful for you guys in the description down below or comments and um, use my link if you want to help support the channel with Nord and get the best VPN for this. And I'll see you again in the next video very soon.